father was a businessman, yeah. Yeah, father was teacher. He was called, he had a nickname, Burton. Where is that? Everyone knew him, knew him as Burton Clark. He was born the day at the Battle of Verdun. Oh, okay. And how he got the name, I don't know. But that's, that's, some people didn't even know he was called PJ. Well, I didn't know that, no, I thought yeah. Verdun was his name. Yeah, no, that was his nickname. <laughs> and how, how did he get into business then? And he started above on Antimon Street, where we were born. I remember as a kid growing up, out in the back, he had a workshop with radios. Yeah. There was no TVs or anything. Yeah, yeah. That used to do radios and uh, Again, I remember going out with Brendan Quinn and Anthony Morton as a young fella, going out to Connemara and what they used to fill up the back of the van with old battery radios. And the call from house to house that you could be a day out there fitting, putting in radios and putting up these aerials at the time. And uh, that's how he started. And then he moved on to uh, the Oxygen and they built the radio shop and the tea cozy. Were the two of them going at the same time? Sorry. Same time, my mother used to run the tea cozy, which was in beside the town hall. Yeah, yeah, there's now a cafe there. Yeah. Back the way it was. Back the way it was. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, they were there a long time. They were there when the first time TVs came out, and my brother Aiden and Cairden were there after my dad died. My dad died fairly young at sixty, and. Uh, Kieran and Aiden ran that then, and my nephew Kieran then took it over. But unfortunately, it slows down now, and there's another cafe in it. I hear it was the centre of social activity, the oh tea cosy. Yeah, the tea cosy. All the lads and the ladies would tell you at the time, that's where they used to meet. And that's where they go in for their coffee and their coke. And Jukebox. Was, there was a, in the front, there was like what you call a deli nowadays. Yeah. And then there was a long bar going right down to the end with stools, real American diner, and tables then to the far side, and there was a jukebox at each table. And that's where you used to come in for the jukebox and play all the, the, the records and whatever was going in those days. Of the days, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> and who worked in there? Well, there was Nan Grady, who was from the Domain Gate. Yeah. I know whether you know her. And Nan, Nan got married to someone up in Kilchamaugh, uh, Noreen Cairdens. Yeah. Noreen's still around. Noreen worked in the radio shop until it closed, I think. But she was initially in the yeah, she tea was cozy. Initially in the in the tea cozy. Yeah. Um, and who was cooking in there? Who the hell was? I mean, or was the home cooking? Your mother, my yeah. Mother used to do a lot of the cooking because they used to do in winter they wouldn't do meals, only coffees and sandwiches and stuff. But then in in summer. They all used to open upstairs and they'd do like salmon and cheddar. I remember going in there and be given the job when I was a kid to fillet all the fish. So yeah. that's where I learned. And was that for the tourists more or less, was that it? That was really all the tourism for that, at, at that time. And the... I don't know who else worked in it. Uh, the, the, the boys will tell you there's a great crack there anyway. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody went in there at that time. So the town has changed a bit, has it? The town has changed an awful lot. I wouldn't know it, no. I, say, I haven't been... It's been a year since I've been back on it. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, and it has changed. The shops have changed. It's changed for the better, I think. Oh, yeah, it has. Way better, you know. <laughs> key has changed. Key? Oh, should the key, you wouldn't know it. What's the biggest change? The biggest change is probably here in front of us with all the car parking and where you can put the boats and the hotel. I mean, that's a marvellous hotel up there and the apartments and of course the Helm. The Helm has changed an awful lot in years, you know. It's changed from a pub now to a, a very, it has a day about over Ireland. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And Westport House. <laughs> Westport House has gone from just being a big visitor house to go and have a look around to, to, to now be a kind of a car. It's fantastic. So you're, yeah. you're enjoying your week, your enjoying, week here anyway, I'm, yeah? I'm enjoying my week here and enjoying my retirement and... Uh, Are you retired, yeah? I'm retired now. Oh, I'm yourself, yeah. So. Well, enjoy it. I'm not to that now.